With the cancellation of a $250 billion vehicle order from China, questions arise about the impact on the United States automotive industry due to China's decision. In the already tense global economic scenario, this move adds more concerns. Europe, grappling with conflicts for over a year, exemplifies global tensions. Now, with another region entering into turmoil, anxieties and imbalances in international markets are on the rise. Let's delve into the reasons behind China's shocking decision and its consequences for both domestic and international markets. Stay tuned not to miss any details. The decision. The U.S. automotive industry has been facing a challenging period marked by significant layoffs and the necessary adaptation to a new paradigm in vehicle consumption. Currently, there is a growing trend towards the preference for electric models. This shift is particularly evident in Europe, where electric vehicles are rapidly becoming dominant. In Asia, the consumption of these models is surprisingly high. The United States, historically known for its preference for large V8 gasoline-powered engines, is gradually falling behind in this energy transition. The preference for larger engines was common among a segment of American consumers. However, with the rising fuel prices, even in this country, there is a growing need to transition to more economical and sustainable models. In this scenario, China stands out as a leading force in advancing electric vehicle technology. This progress represents a significant step towards a more sustainable and eco-efficient future. As the country invests in research and development in this area, it positions itself at the forefront of global automotive innovation. This focus on electric vehicle technology not only contributes to reducing dependence on fossil fuels, but also makes China a formidable competitor in the international automotive market. With all this progress, China emerges as a leader in the evolution of electric vehicle technology. The Asian countries set a record for electrified vehicle production in 2022, surpassing the previous year's numbers even before December. To put it into perspective, in China, one in every four cars produced is already fully electric. Another concern for the United States is its limited share in global battery cell production, standing at a mere 7.6%. In contrast, China dominates an impressive 75.3% of the global market. This year, China placed one of the largest vehicle orders ever recorded, a crucial step for the U.S. economic growth in the automotive sector. However, the American market faces setbacks as China advances in its production capacity. The United States and China, two powers known for their economic disputes, continue to take decisive actions to boost or hinder each other's economic growth. China's recent decision to cancel a major vehicle order was a surprise, even to experts who couldn't clearly explain the reason for this cancellation. This action had a significant impact on the United States, especially in the automotive sector. After the announcement of the cancellation, several American automakers experienced declines in their stocks, a setback for the U.S. economy. Some analysts suggest that China's cancellation may be related to its focus on electrification, aiming to reduce emissions and air pollution. In this context, importing a large number of vehicles, even including hybrid and electric models, would not align with Chinese national efforts to promote more efficient and less polluting vehicles. China's rise in this field and its decision to cancel the purchase of these cars indicate its future vision and the potential for transforming the global automotive industry. Its leadership role in the evolution of electric vehicle technology not only benefits the environment but also sets new standards and expectations for the automotive industry worldwide. Consequences the announcement of the cancellation of a massive order resulted in a stock market decline. This wasn't limited to vehicle manufacturers, but also affected component companies, such as tire manufacturers. This situation has the potential to significantly impact the employment of a vast number of Americans. 
The direct consequence was a domino effect, with investors alarmed by the sudden fall in the stocks of American automakers. This created an atmosphere of uncertainty for those investing in this sector in the United States. This turnaround served as a wake-up call for several nations about the vulnerability of the North American market and economic giant until then. Simultaneously, it highlighted China's economic power, showing its ability to influence global markets when deemed necessary. The cancellation reinforced China's patriotic stance, prioritizing domestic production over vehicle imports. This strategy aims to strengthen the national economy and create more jobs within the country. An undeniable reality emerged. China's unexpected move caught everyone off guard. Now, other nations with trade agreements or imports from China will be much more vigilant. They will seek to guard against any similar moves by China regarding other countries. China's Technological and Astonishing Advance China, recognized as the world's largest automotive power, invests heavily in technology, and the results are visible. To understand this evolution, just compare a Chinese car sold in Brazil in the early 2010s with a 2023 model. In just 10 years, Chinese cars have progressed remarkably, surpassing expectations. It is unlikely that another country can keep up with this pace of advancement in the next 10 years. A clear example of this evolution is the launch of the new BYD Dolphin in Brazil. This model, offered at 149,000 Brazilian reis, arrived with such competitive prices that it changed the pricing landscape for almost all cars in the Brazilian market. Vehicles with prices below 150,000 reis or even those priced at 200,000 reis had to adjust their prices. The Dolphin proved to be more advantageous compared to some cars priced at 200,000 reis, as well as others in the range of 120,000 to 130,000 reis. With this, China managed to influence the price adjustments throughout the Brazilian automotive market with just one model. Thinking about the number of Chinese automakers that have the potential to expand globally, even those not yet operating in Brazil, the situation becomes concerning for countries like the United States. I would like to hear your opinions on China's decision to cancel such a large order. Leave your comments below and share your expectations about the future developments of this decision. So, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to the channel, activating notifications because I post new videos every day. See you in the next one.